about four years ago, I had all these wonderful pumpkins left over from Thanksgiving, and I knew I wasn't going to cook them because I was done cooking for a while. And I threw them away into my garden waste. And I went to bed that night, and I felt so guilty that I had thrown away these perfectly beautiful pumpkins. So in the middle of the night, I decided, you know, I wonder if I could spray paint them, and they're round, so they can make them kind of look like Christmas ornaments. So I pulled them out of my garden waste, except I found out that other people were using the garden waste for dog stuff, but anyways. So by the time I got them cleaned up, and, um, which I know you're not supposed to throw your, your dog waste in the gar garden waste, but somebody was. I won't mention names. But anyway, so anyway, so I went to the store and I got some spray paint. So what I suggest you do is just make sure they're dry, especially if they've been out in the night or they've been in your garden waste, and then you just spray them. And I just start spraying, and I like to use um, the gloss paint, the high gloss, because it kind of gives a little bit more of a sheen. And it usually doesn't take very many coats, so you don't have to buy a lot of paint to do a lot of pumpkins. And what I love about this is you can buy your pumpkins in October and use them for Halloween if you don't carve them. So you can decorate for fall for October, you can decorate for fall in November, and then you can decorate as Christmas ornaments in December. So. It's kind of a money-saving tip. So while Johnny's trying to save everybody money with their insurance, I'm always trying to find a way to save money at home. And this is one of my ideas. So we'll let it dry. And then I'll move on to a different color. We'll try green. You can use any color pumpkin. And you want to green. The rounder the better. So when I pick out my pumpkins in October, I try and think of December ornaments. So Pumpkins can be so expensive sometimes, especially the really large ones. So I don't feel quite so guilty when I buy them if I know I'm going to keep using them. This year I got lucky and I was given these pumpkins, so I didn't even have to buy any this year. So that was kind of a nice surprise. So get them all nice and green. And you can do, I, last year I did only silver and gold. And that was kind of fun, different. This year my theme is red and green and gold. So there's a green. And let it dry and we'll do some touch up later. And maybe I'll do this one, gold. Make sure it's dry. Again, I used the really metallic gold. The silver turns out beautiful too, but I didn't need silver this year, so I didn't buy it. I saw they actually would even make pretty center pieces. And really, no one even knows they're pumpkins. When I have them sitting on the, on the porch, people walk by and say, oh, I like your ornaments out there. And then I have to point out that they're pumpkins. So, kind of fun. So we'll let these dry. Meanwhile, I'll paint the rest of them. Kind of decide which ones is going to be red, which one's going to be green. And then later on, we'll put them together as a oh, they're friendly dry. Bridge. Nice and dry. You always kind of wonder, I thought, well, what am I going to do with this stem? So I thought, well, I'm going to cover it with some ribbon. And I discovered that stick pins work really well. They just kind of just go right into the pumpkin and they hold them just fine. So you can kind of do, 
you can even kind of do a little loopy thing if you want. And then I always use ribbon that has metal in it. It's just so much easier and you can kind of twist it around and make little things like this. And you can kind of take your ribbon and twist it. And what's nice is this ribbon doesn't get it. It's what it's the weather doesn't affect it. Rain doesn't affect it. Nothing seems to affect it. So you can always save the ribbon and use it the following year, even to wrap packages. So it's kind of nice. And then also I discovered I didn't like the red with the red. This red was too bright, so I thought it might look pretty on the green. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the um, the red ribbon on the green pumpkins. And I tied these some of these bows. I pre-tied. I just tied them around a pencil so that I could kind of get a little bow going. I'm sure somebody else has a better idea. I'm sure there's many other ideas, but that's what I do. So. And then just kind of bend it around. And then stick it, stick it in to hold it. There we go. And then here we, I thought this was a bigger pumpkin. I thought it could use a, re, a longer ribbon. So I just kind of thought I would stick it on the sides and then I would use a couple different bows on the top. other people came up with. If anybody else had any ideas, I'd love to hear them. So there we go. I can't really see it from that side, so we'll have to I'll play with it, but here we have it. This is one way they can set them up. I'm sure there's many other ways, but this worked for me for now. I think I'm going to play around with some poinsettias and see what happens, because I was lucky enough to get some beautiful ones given to me by a friend. So we'll see how that works. So thanks a lot for watching.